Hello fellow YouTubers, this is NLB Solution channel and this is Nick once again and today I'm going to show you a few ways for you to access safe mode or boot into advanced options of the Windows 10 uh, when you have problems with your machine. For example, um, if you want to um, remove a virus that is affecting your system or if you have any problems with the device and your computer is not able to work properly most of the times you will need to boot the computer into safe mode where the system does not load all the drivers uh, it just loads the needed for the operating system files and drivers to work so um, if you remember from the past uh, working with Windows XP, Windows 7 or Vista um, the easiest way for us to access safe uh, mode was by pressing F8 before we see the uh, Windows loading uh, screen, the, the Windows logo. But now this feature is not enabled in Windows 10. And I will show you a few ways for you to access uh, the feature. So let me just log in from the machine and we'll, we'll start with the scenario where you have uh, a working Windows 10 but you have some problems with, uh, with the computer and you want to go either with uh, safe mode or if you want to uh, perform a factory reset or restore from an image. So the fastest way for you to um, access the uh, settings for the advanced boot option menu is to go to uh, the system menu and then go to settings scroll down a little bit and in there you'll see update and security and there is a tab called recovery and in there you can see the advanced startup option and uh, by pressing restart now it will uh, load up the advanced startup option where you have several options so let me show you let's restart now Okay, so here you have several options. The first one is to continue and boot Windows 10 normally. The second one is to troubleshoot your computer. And the third option is to turn off the PC. So uh, you want to click the troubleshoot button and in there you have two options. One is to reset the PC and with this option you will reset basically the PC. This is a new feature that was introduced in Windows 8 where uh, it saves, you can save or wipe uh, out the data that you have and basically it resets the PC. So I'm going to choose the bottom option which is advanced options and when I click there I have several um, options that I can choose from and I will go through them one by one really fast. The system restore, you can restore the computer from a previous point of time if you, ha if you have one or if you have a, a system image you can recover from that image if you have um, created a, a, a system image during the um, for example when you installed your computer and you can create this image a recovery image and uh, you can use that on a later state you can start up um, a repair and this is an automatic repair and will try to fix problems if you have problems with your windows booting up and this is an automatic one if you click that option it will start uh, troubleshooting by itself and it will tell you this is the problem and uh, I'm able to fix it or I'm not able to fix it the other one is common prompt and if you are familiar with the common prompt uh, this is one of the best ways for uh, administrators to troubleshoot their issues basically it will not show you any any um, interface any GUI interface it will basically show you the common prompt window only where you can uh, do and you can repair your uh, the system yourself and uh, the next option is startup settings and from here you can select to boot the system into safe mode or there are several others uh, other options for you can choose uh, I will show you what are the option options and the last one is go back to a previous build so if you have for example ins uh, upgraded your Windows uh, 10 from Windows 7 or 8 and you haven't um, uh, one month haven't passed this is where you can also of course uh, choose to uh, go back to your previous build but for this video I'm going to click on startup settings and uh, it will bring me a small um, summary of what I can do with this setting so I'm going to click restart and basically to boot into the advanced menu 
okay so uh, this is the advanced put options and you can choose um, by pressing one of um, from one to nine key or f1 to f9 they will both work and you have several options here um, you, you can you can see that even you have the option to press F10 for more options or press enter to return to your operating system to start normally but you can see here that I have the uh, four the fourth the fifth and the sixth options are enable uh, safe mode and in most cases uh, when you troubleshoot uh, something it's always a good idea for you to enable uh, safe mode with networking so you can for example you can download any software that you need to to investigate and see what's going on with your computer so uh, in this case I'm going to um, go ahead and boot by pressing 5 on my keyboard to boot safe mode with networking so let's see if that would be successful Okay, so it booted up once again and I'm going to log in with my account and you can see that uh, the screen uh, got smaller because this is the default um, um, resolution of the safe mode and you can see now that we are in safe mode so you can proceed to troubleshoot from here with uh, the um, network enabled so you can download software uh, if you need and uh, fix the problems that you have with your computer Another option that you have uh, to restart the PC in safe mode is really fast and I really like it and uh, I think you should try it as well. Uh, if you go to the start menu and if you press on the power option and if you hold the shift key on your keyboard and hold it down and press restart at the same time while holding the shift key that should bring up the advanced boot menu once again so let's see if that would work okay there it is so from here you can proceed once again with uh, with the same options that we had in the past so uh, this is a really fast way for you to um, bring up the advanced options the third option that I'm going to show you is really um, let's say a more advanced way for you to um, select and boot from safe mode uh, for for your system to boot into safe mode but it's really a, um, an easy way for you to achieve that and the way you can do this is click on the start menu and in the search field you can write down ms config that's the system configuration application and press enter and on the second tab that you see um, you have the option to basically the boot options and you have the option to boot into safe mode and here you have uh, some some ways for you to achieve this you have the minimal boot option uh, which will load only the needed drivers for the operating system or you have the option to boot uh, uh, in safe mode with networking so I need to apply this and press OK and it will say that uh, in order for me to apply the changes I need to restart my computer so let's restart the PC right now and this time instead of me pressing any keys or having to go through the advanced boot option and press to uh, load into safe mode it will automatically boot the the computer into safe mode with networking that I specified so uh, from here I can log in once again and perform the needed recovery operations that uh, that need to be done and um, don't forget because it's really important uh, most of the settings uh, when you configure in MS config will stay so what you need to do is remove the settings once you are done with the safe mode so the windows can start up normally so you can achieve this by going into you can try another way right click on the start menu click run and write in there MS config okay the second tab is the boot option and if you want for your windows to boot up normally once again the only thing you need to do is just remove the tick box and press apply and OK and restart the computer once again. 
So all the options that I've showed you um, require for you to be within your operating system and from there to configure some settings in order for you to uh, boot into safe mode or uh, try to fix problems with your computer. But you will um, ask of course and you will have problems where you cannot boot your operating system at all and maybe it's in a loop. So another way for you to uh, achieve this in this situation is to find your Windows 10 um, installation media and try to boot the uh, recovery options from there. So I have attached my DVD with my Windows 10 to my machine and I'm going to restart the machine right now so I can show you how you can achieve this. I'm going to initiate the restart and it will ask me to press a key to boot from the DVD so I've pressed the key and it will basically load my Windows uh, um, installation media instead of the Windows that is residing on my hard disk so from here um, I will have the option to install Windows 10 or to repair the Windows and if I click next here you can see that I have repair your computer I will press this option and it will boot the same um, options, the same troubleshooting options that we see on our Windows um, 10 machine. So I will click on troubleshoot once again and I have the option to reset the PC or advanced options. And here you can see that pretty much we have the same options. For example, if you have problems with your Windows loading up, you can try to start up a repair and it will automatically fix things. But if you want to go into the safe mode, uh, the, there is no option for you to uh, go into the advanced boot menu. Instead, what you need to do is you need to uh, enter command prompt and from here you need to change the partition to the C drive and use the command bcd edit and then set default and then boot menu policy to legacy. That way we can set our boot menu to be the legacy boot and thus this will enable us the option to press F8 and it will show the advanced boot menu. So I'm going to enable this feature and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to eject my Windows um, CD, Windows 10 CD and I'm going to restart the computer so we can press F8 and boot into the advanced options. Now that I have ejected my uh, Windows 10 media I'm going to exit from this command prompt and so from here you can turn off your computer and power it back on and before you see the Windows 8 loading screen you need to press the F8 key so uh, in order for you to boot into the advanced uh, boot menu settings. So let me just turn off the computer and boot it once again so we can see what will happen. Now you can see that um, before you see the Windows logging screen and if you press F8 the advanced boot options will appear once again and this is the fam familiar advanced boot options that we all know. So you have the option to choose from different uh, modes to start your Windows uh, in and right on the bottom you can see that uh, you have Windows uh, start Windows normally of course. So I'm going to boot once again into safe mode with networking with, uh, with this option. and I will log into my machine and uh, you can proceed working with uh, your computer and try to troubleshoot and fix things uh, within the computer and when you are done um, either you can leave the legacy option uh, enabled so you can uh, start your computer normally it will boot there will be no issues with that but the F F8 option will be available for you to press if you want to start uh, your computer into safe mode once again but if you want to disable this option you will have to open a command prompt from here and using the same command bcd edit and then the switch set default and then boot menu policy 
you will need instead of using the switch legacy you will have to set the switch standard that way you will disable the F8 option or the legacy option and the next time when you restart your computer um, and when you fix of course issues uh, preventing your computer from starting up it will boot normally without um, any any further problems so um, this is the overview of how you can use um, the safe mode of uh, and how you can access safe mode to fix problems within your operating system and I showed you two ways for you to do it one inside the operating system where you can start uh, the advanced boot uh, options from there or the other um, where you need to use the Windows 10 media in order for you to start or fix problems uh, with your computer and start it in safe mode. So thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.